So now that we've set up Grunt uh, to build our application, um, it's inconvenient for us to go back to the terminal and run the Grunt command for every time we change a file. So we'll set up the Grunt Watch plugin to do that work for us. So in order to do that, we're going to go up here in the init config section, and we're going to add a watch uh, task or a watch step. And we're going to configure that right inside the ground file JS, and uh, just because uh, it doesn't really work if you put it in a separate file for some reason. So this has a files property. And that takes the files that we want the watch plugin to watch for changes in. So we're going to watch for any any files inside the templates directory. So any file that ends with HPS. And we also want to listen for any changes inside our app directory or any JS files. And then we need to specify which task we want to execute whenever one of our files change. And the only two tasks we want to execute is the Ember templates to compile our templates and the concat plugin, because we're not really interested in the minified version of our source code uh, when, we do, when we're developing. So tasks, this is also an array. We want the Ember templates, and we want to run concat. You can also, if you want to, uh, run jsint. So if you want to be alerted by any, if we have any common bugs in our code while we're developing, we can add jsint here as well. So then we need to load the npm task for the watch plugin and then we need to register a new task for um, for the watch plugin so we'll copy this line and rename the old one dist and the default one uh, we don't want to run any of these but we do want to run the watch plugin so we go back to the terminal now. Now we can run run dist, which will run the tasks as we had them before. But if we run grunt now, we will run the watch plugin. So if we make any changes to our files at this point, so if I go back here and into one of my templates, and I'm just going to add a paragraph here, adding some content to my templates. If we go back to the terminal, I can see here that we've Gruntwatch has uh, found out that we've changed this file. And this run jsint found it to be lint free. Let's compile the templates and concatenated uh, concatenated our uh, JavaScript into this screencast.js file. So we can go back to the browser now and refresh. And we can see that our template has been uh, Recompiled. So this works as well with any changes to uh, our uh, source code. So we can, for instance, here say just add a console.log statement uh, verify in watch plugin. Here we got a warning that we're missing a semicolon. So JS Hint has now told us that we have a, a bug in our code. So go back and add a semicolon. Grunt recompiles. And if we now bring up the developer tools and refresh, you can see that our new source code is added.